Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. In this episode I'm hopefully going to finish Sector 9. After I did not continue with the 12th task last time, I hope that uh, the game will not take its revenge on me so that I not, I'm not able to finish this uh, sector in this episode. But since the previous task didn't take me so long, I uh, think this should be possible. Okay, let's focus on the task. A code fragment that gets in an array of numbers and a number is supposed to return an array of numbers. And apparently we get in only zeros and we return only zeros. That's not that much of a, of a deal. If I get in one zero zero zero, I'm supposed to return kind of the reverse thing and if zeros and two I'm again supposed to return zeros okay the only thing I'm just thinking is that this one is moved three positions to the right so it might be just a like a, a circling around shifting the array to the right maybe since this is the best guess I have, uh, I'm going to try this out. Say int array result equals new int array of um, numbers dot length, and then I'm going to say um, for int i equals zero i. Uh, smaller than numbers dot length i plus plus i assign to result i the value of numbers i plus amount um, modulo the length of the whole thing um, which is numbers dot length and then of course I'm going to return the result let's see what whoa system array does not contain a definition for length doesn't it is it size it might be size in Java is it is it not no it's not why can't I is it is it a method it's not a method. Is it? You should get only two errors if that's right. Um, why can't I access the length of an array? Didn't I? Wait, let me just copy this for a second and go back to the initial thing. I thought there was. Ah, I'm in C sharp, ain't I? Yes, I'm in C sharp. Okay. C sharp mode. Um, so let's just quickly retry that, uh, pasting the Java solution in Java. And I really think it's length. Um, maybe then it's actually working. And the editor is taking somewhat longer, so it might be right even though it's somehow not working as, out as I thought it would be even though um, wait for it I shifted into the wrong direction I guess I should take the one um, three to the left not three to the right so I'm not entirely sure about how modulo in Java works with ne with negative numbers, which will happen right now. But it might be that I get an index out of range. So apparently there's negative results right now. Um, let me quickly think about how to do this. 
I mean, I could just use a math apps around here. It makes my solution even a little longer, which I really didn't like, but at least it's working right now. And it's one, two, three, four. So my theory is still valid, but my implementation is apparently wrong, even though I'm not quite sure why it is wrong. Probably because the modulo with the negative numbers does not really work out. So, um, give me a little break to think about how to implement this index calculation. I have an index of 2 and I want to get an index of yeah let's just do it the other way around let's just do it the other way around let's just say okay we have I plus amount modulo numbers dot length and this will get assigned numbers i. Now I should have the right offset because a number is placed exactly amount uh, places um, to the right now because I moved the plus here so it's what I tried to do with the minus over here and I did with the plus here so uh, hopefully it's working fortunately it does not generate a test case with a one now so I can't see whether it's working right now but I take it as a good sign that it takes them so long to calculate um, in most cases that means that my solution is correct and I'm correct with that assumption and I even get a full skill rage, in which I didn't expect, so thanks a lot game. And let's continue with the next task, because I don't have much time to solve the last two tasks of this sector. Okay, puzzle gets in an array of integers and two integers, and it returns an array of integers. What am I supposed to do? And there's only zeros as input, so I get only zeros as output, and the same number, seven, yes. There is, this again looks somewhat like a shifting thing, shifted by one. So let's try just the same thing as I did before, int result equals new int uh, numbers to length for int i equals zero i smaller numbers dot length i plus plus um, results um, i plus j by the way there's a name conflict here already so let's name it k to make it even more confusing k plus j modulo numbers dot length equals numbers dot i no numbers dot k and then return the results let's see what he thinks of that probably isn't right because it does not include i in the calculation right now um, yeah, interesting now this moved in the other direction so I'm not sure did I read the last one wrong or um, on the two test cases I have right now I just say that I place it on the wrong side so uh, I plus J modulo numbers dot length let's see if there's a test case breaking now yes there is a test case breaking now because in this case it's moving to the right 
So if one test case where it's moving shifted to the right and one where it's moving shifted to the left, and in both cases J is Is it the same input? I mean this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers, and the one is shifted from the first to the second position. And with the, this solution, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and one, and the one is shifted to the left. Interesting. So apparently the last tasks are, at least for my brain, a little more complicated than the previous tasks. So let's see if I'll be able to finish that. Oh, I'm stupid. I am stupid. I am very much stupid. How about this one? Integer temp equals numbers dot i um, numbers dot i equals numbers j numbers j equals temp return numbers. What do you think about that? Ha! I knew it. Oh, I'm so, I was so stupid. That was because of the task before. Microsoft, you really tried to mess with my brain. Okay, um, solve this task was way easier than I thought it was. Let's continue to the last one. Um, I, will, I will finish this in this episode, even though it's, it'll get a little longer. Uh, I won't make an episode only for one for one task. So we get in two integer arrays this time. We're supposed to return an integer array. And the expected results, this is only zeros. Why does it generate only zeros? My first guess would be that I have just have to sum the uh, the elements. So I do an int array. They always have the same length, do they? No, they don't. Actually, they don't. They don't. So this is the second one. This is the first one because it's the long. This is the longer one. This is also the longer one. This is also the longer one, and this is also the longer one. So maybe I return um, if a dot length is smaller or is bigger b dot length then return A as return B. How about that? No, that's not it apparently. It's not only the length included here, but maybe also the the values. Another idea, I, I'm still somehow uh, stuck at the idea that this is the sum of the respective elements here, only that we don't always have the same lengths of the arrays, so I somehow have to fix that. So let's say int length equals math max from a dot length and b dot length, then say we have an int array result, which is a new int array of length, and then we say for int i equals zero i smaller i is smaller, i is smaller, length, I'm not really sure how to write this in a concise way, but let me just try if that's the correct solution, and if it is, I can still 
um, think about how to improve that um, because now I have the problem of the, the concrete length if I smaller than a dot length then plus equals a i if i smaller b dot length result i plus equals b i and then return the result is this correct or not at least it seems to compile generates correct solutions for all the zero cases and not particularly interesting nature but it also seems to solve the cases where there's a one and it even gets me the full skill rating so thanks a lot apparently this is it this concludes also uh, sector 9 the 1d race and I'm pretty excited to start next time with uh, sector 10 the drag race so thanks a lot for watching if you like this episode, please consider to subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter. I post regular updates on what I do and all my videos. Um, if you have any feedback, any critics or ideas about what I could do, just drop me a message, uh, comment below this video or send me an email. Um, I'm always happy to know what you think and uh, what you want to see. And as a last thing, if you're interested in this video, you also might be interested in the other things I'm doing, so check out my YouTube channel and the different Let's Develop series I'm doing, let's, uh, like the Let's Develop with Maven and Eclipse, or the Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life. That's it for now, thanks again for watching, and see you next time.